Let's take a little trip back in time to when we all had phones in our homes. Yes, long before cell phones, we had landlines. These phones had funny looking plugs that went into our walls. They hung in the kitchen. They lived on our nightstands. Fancy people had them in the bathroom. But home phones are making a comeback and that historic wire is all but gone. It's because innovators dreamed that new communication might be with your voice over IP. Here's Ali Ward to explain. Some people build connections through conversation, others through sports or artistic expression. One way that Marion Croak, PhD, builds connections is through technology as a developer of voice over internet protocol, technology that converts your voice into a digital signal. Marion has received more than 200 patents for her work in the fields of voice and data communication. We connected from opposite coasts using technology that Marion played an integral role in developing. Dr. Croak, are you there? Hello. Hello. I think it's so fun that we get to talk to each other this way. <laughs> are we using voice over internet protocol to communicate right now? We certainly are. And it's been uh, amazing to see how ubiquitous it's become during COVID. Most people, when they're chatting over video calls, are using voice over IP. What's the way that cool people talk about it? They'll say VoIP. VoIP is the cool way of saying it. Can you tell me how VoIP works in a nutshell? When you're talking, you create sound waves. And those sound waves have a lot of silence in them. So think of having an internet connection and then packetizing, putting those sound waves, breaking them up into bits, almost like data, and putting them in envelopes, packetizing them, and then sending them across the internet, and then they're unpackaged. Marion says that since she was a young girl, and that's her on the left with her dad and her sister Susan, she's been attracted to problem solving. Anyone who would be able to fix something that was broken, all of those models really helped me to get on this path of being an engineer and a technologist. Through her combined expertise in quantitative analysis and social psychology, Marion's expression is technology, and her motivation is people. I have always been interested in human behavior and trying to understand why people do certain things or not do certain things. So humanity is extremely interesting to me. And then I love the logic of statistics. It just seemed like it was a very definitive thing as opposed to human behavior, which is quite mysterious at times. You need to have an imagination and you need to think out of the box. I think that that stimulates you into using your STEM background in very useful ways. 